this is Blossom back for a yarn haul. So I had not expected to do another yarn haul until after April, but I couldn't help myself. I went to the doctor and had a procedure, and then afterwards I decided that I'd like to go do some shopping. And it just happened. That's what happens. So I've got my stuff next to me here. It's in a bag. I did go in there for a particular yarn because there was something I needed, but it got a little out of hand here and there. There's a few pieces in here that it was like I was looking for because I had not um, seen them when I was out before, so I wanted to go ahead and get those. I also picked up some um, non-yarny things, and... I will probably make a separate video for the planner stuff because I did do a happy planner video. If you have not seen that, you might go check that out. And I'm going to do another one with the stuff that I got this time. Okay. Welcome back. I'm glad you're here. To all the new subscribers, I'm so happy to have you. Um... To those that are returning, thanks for coming back. And let's let's see what I got. So first of all, I started the crochet coat from the Crochet Now magazine. And I'm using the Lion Brand um, Heartland. And I didn't have quite enough of one of the colors. So I picked that up. And that's this one, which is Lion Brand. Heartland. This is the Great Smoky Mountains. And this is my darker gray. There's a lighter gray, a darker gray, and a red. So I think they had four. I don't remember if I got all four but I did get three because I wasn't sure I was going to have enough of that color. So there's those. They're going to have to go on a four. There's not going to be enough room here. Okay. Then in the clearance aisle, more Lion Brand. This is Hometown. My husband wanted this one. And these were... Oh, you know what? I have my receipt. It's the Heartland. Okay, these were two forty seven. The homespun. Hometown, sorry. Hometown USA. It had a clearance tag of three ninety seven. And we picked them up for $173 each. This color is San Antonio Spur. Black with a gray wound around it. Two of those. Now these are not, these don't have a whole lot of yardage, 64 yards. All acrylic. Okay, then I got these, now this is the Deborah Norville Everyday by Premier Yarns, they were $3.97 on clearance, this color is baby blue, 100% acrylic, 203 yards for weight and I got one two three four 
four, five, six, seven. So that's roughly 1,400 yards. It's a sweater's quantity. With that, and those were, let me see if I can find them. I'm not very good at this whole with the with the prices thing. Sorry guys, I'm looking. They were 173 also. Because I had a coupon. So it took a percentage off. So with the baby blue, I picked up these burnout satin, and this is Admiral, so a royal Admiral blue. Number four weight, 100% acrylic. These are 200 yards each. But I thought I might do some color work with these. So the, the darker color would be the color work on this blue, baby blue background. And I think on the satin, it was a dollar thirty eight each. And the Great Smoky Mountains. They were $5.99. I did not get a coupon on those, but I did so good on the others. That was that gray one. Okay, now, I also picked up this Heartland, which was $2.47. There's 251 yards in these. This one is Biscayne, so it's a pink you can see it's a pink, and you know these are all heathered. And the Biscayne was... I'm not doing this very well, am I? I know I just saw it a minute ago. Well, sorry. I know that it was 247, so I think it was the 173. Okay, then I got two of these Lion Brand Landscapes. They were kind of falling apart. They've got these marked at 397. This is the Bordeaux, the wine, a little darker, there we go, and the Bordeaux, I know I just saw those, okay, that Biscayne was $1.73, the Bordeaux's were, they didn't, they didn't get marked down, they are at $3.97. But I know they're more than that. The landscapes are normally a little bit more than that. Okay. There's an unforgettable. And that is a little bit brighter right here, that part piece. That's what's inside there.
sugar cane. Number four weight, 100% acrylic. Was four ninety seven. This is the scrubby cotton. What if I got stuck up at the top up here? Yeah, they did. Four ninety nine. So no coupon on those. Some things it doesn't work on. This one. Is like peaches, peaches and pinks, and white. And it's called Blissful. This is Blissful print. So I hadn't seen it in the cotton. And I'm thinking these would make very good um, face, face cloths. So I got the Blissful and Nautical. It's, wait, there we go. Kind of red, white, and blue. Just a little bit more muted. I think these are three ounces. Yeah. 121 yards in these. I'll have to let you know how much I get out of them. Generally, I get from the cotton, from like the peaches and cream, generally I will get a dishcloth and a scrubby and a little extra. So that's these two. And then this one is not cotton. This is the regular scrubby. So as I said, I didn't get anything off on these. These were $4.99, these three. This one is called Marvel. It is also three ounces and it's 78 yards. So you get a little more in the cotton one. But they're pretty similar. This one's a little scruffier looking. And I started a little bit with it so you can see how it this is crochet that's kind of a greenish if it's not picking up okay so that was those okay I got pooling if you haven't watched Ross from Smells Like Yarn. He's been working with this pooling yarn and he's had me so interested in it. So if you're watching Ross, hello. <laughs> you're a busy guy. I don't think you're watching me. But this one is Carnival. And 236 yards, a number four weight, 100% acrylic. So I'm interested to give it a try. So there's Carnival, and then I got Hot Pulling. So red, gray, black, white. Just those two. Then I got some of the Fair Isle. Okay. I want to say that I have one of the Fair Isles somewhere, but I cannot find it. So this is Super Saver Fair Isle. This one is Calm. Like to see. Those colors. I love these colors. And then there's Parrot. It's got that hot green in it. And Derby. So these will be fun. Well, it's better. That's actually a blue. The Fair Isles. Hmm. 
were $349 and I got them for $299. And the pooling I also got for $299. So yeah, I got yarn, guys. Wasn't gonna get yarn, but I got yarn. I know, that big bag, but I had like seven of those one blue colors, so it was pretty good. I saved Seventy oh five. So yeah. Now I don't know when you're gonna see this. Uh, tomorrow will be a week ago that we did the shopping because I had my procedure um, on that Monday, and then we went shopping. And of course, uh, it was it Wednesday was Wednesday was Valentine's, so. That was the yarn. Then I picked up because I've been hearing that they had these. These were five ninety nine regular, and I got them for two ninety nine each. Pom poms. Aw. And it's got the stretchy attacher right there. Attacher. I just make words up. Okay. I don't know if these have names. No. Just numbers. This one is white with a kind of a creamy white. And it has black on the edges. That's not picking up. But that's the brownish one. And then I got a gray with black. And I got a black. Look like little animals, don't they? And they were calling these Shepherd pom poms. Oh, there's a shepherd, a gray wolf, a white with black tips. And a black. Yeah, and these are buttercream, which is one of their um it's faux fur, but it's it's buttercream is one of their brands that they have in the yarn too. So Joann's. I also I've been wanting one of these, and I finally saw it somewhere. A lot of times they they're out of these. Have you guys seen these cutters? This is the Clover brand. And if you just in case you're wondering, you can take these on the airplane. Okay. And it's a charm. So it can go on your necklace. It's got a hole in it. And all of those edges, you slide your yarn through and cut it. Yeah. So you just put it right onto your necklace and take it with you. And then this was cute. This this was in the clearance aisle for two ninety seven. And it's a little pouch. Kind of a coral pink. My thought was to put 
my hooks in to put my bag. Mm hmm Yep. It's a glasses case. Not today. But yeah, Joanne. Was it Joanne? I don't know whether they got me thing off on that since it's Clarence. Probably not. Yeah. Also, these are finger guides. Now I have one that's metal and it's circular, you know, twists around. And it has a little hook in the front and a little hook in the back. But these, there's a picture on here I'll show you, where your yarn goes through the top of this. Lightweight, medium weight, and bulky. Of course, I tore the picture. I'll have to demonstrate when I figure it out. Can you see that well enough there? That's not too bad. Yeah. So this is put out by Boy. It's got like this ring, and it's rubber. So you have to put that on first into that hole. Okay, and then right through that top there is where your yarn goes. Fun. I'm going to have to try it out because I really think that this is going to work out better for me actually for knitting more knitting because I don't usually I don't usually have to worry about that for for crochet we'll we'll see see I'm left-handed so my yarn usually is on this side when I crochet in the in the and the crochet hook is on this side in my left hand but knitting I knit like a right-handed person and what I wanted this for is I want to be able to guide the yarn on the left hand and have the yarn coming from the right side. So I'll let you know. Let me put those things in this bag so I don't lose them. Okay, then, oh, we went to uh, Goodwill. And I found a book I wanted to read. This is a series. Maggie Sefton. And it's a mystery. And there's recipes and a knitting pattern in here. So anyway, she evidently she writes about this town in Fort Connor, Colorado, the Lamb Spun Ladies. So looks like fun. Okay, hold on guys. Okay, so let's look at the books I got. So let me just say I'm not really all that thrilled with these. Um, I wanted to give these a try. They're always there. And Joann's has this place uh, by the registers, and usually they're right on the end. And they're not with the regular books. These are offers that they have, and they're the bag mags is what I call them. So it's magazine that comes in a bag, usually comes with something with it. Yeah. This one's the Molly Makes. And the free gift that comes into this bag is the mini planner, I mean, um, pennant. And then 
they give you the stuff to do that. Okay. Here it is. Here's your kit. I haven't opened this yet. I glanced at the magazine. Some of these magazines come from the UK, and uh, I got one book this way, and the book was UK Terms. So be careful. I'm just telling you that. There's not a thing wrong with them. It's just be careful. If you get something that is in UK Terms, it means that the terms are different than what we use. So you're going to have to adjust the patterns. For instance, a double crochet in UK terms would be our single crochet. And their treble is our double. So here's your kit. Crafting is good for the soul. There's a needle down here on the bottom. That's for the top. And then you've got thread and a piece of yarn. That's, I, I don't know. <laughs> Judging by what's on there, you're going to stitch with the needle. You're going to hang it with that thread, the yarn. You're going to use the thread. It looks like you might be making a pom-pom, too. So that's kind of fun. I imagine I can find a place in here to hang that. Okay, here is the magazine. My trash is over there. That's why I keep throwing it. It's got an amigurumi on the front. It says warm and cozy. So you've got crochet, turn petals into statement jewelry, learn whole cloth quilting, and discover book bending. You make journals. So I'll just show you here some of the things that are in it. You've got this little guy. You've got these socks. This is macrame. Um, you make this with felt, I think. There's a poop that you put a comforter in. There's this sweater, which I like this sweater. This is crochet. I'm not crazy about the uh, puff stitch on there. These are made out of resin. That's a wax canvas bag. So it's got a lot of different things in it. So it's not just crochet or knit or whatever. So it's got, you know, different things. They usually will talk about different products or different designers. Here's a gal that does beadworking. She's got these great big bead earrings. These socks, you you punch and stick those on the sock. They talk about redoing rooms, which is fun. See this one, you you build this thing and use felt and push the felt down to make those bridges. So here's like one of those quilts they're talking about that you're going to put these two sheets together. So it's a whole sheet and then you just quilt the two sheets together. They give you some papers. And here's that sweater. 
I'm just not crazy. These are big, and I don't know. Uh, it's a little out of my comfort zone. I would feel better with some sort of a pattern in there rather than those. I don't know if I just don't like them on the sleeve. I don't know. Anyway, so that's the first one. And that one's not too bad. I'm not, I'm not ter terribly disappointed in it. So here is the next one. Special cards. So it has all the stuff in it to make 60 pattern papers, six cards and envelopes. You have some clear stamps. You have some die cut, die cut stuff in here. And they tell you how to make cards and it's I thought since I had started doing the happy planning and I would be working with more of those type of materials that that might be something that I would get interested in is is just not to do a whole lot of it but like here's some of the die cut stuff I've already made one so that's the die cut you get those Here's the paper. You know, you get these papers. If you if you are interested in, in doing cards, you need to pick this up. Here's your envelope and stuff. Dropping everything. I have not felt 100% today. Here's the clear stickers, cards, and envelopes. And then this is your magazine. And they show you different ways to make the cards using some of the stuff that they've given you. So it's kind of fun. And I did one, but I really need to take some time with that and really try to learn more about what they're talking about. It's it's more with the folding and how you build them so that you have a 3D effect and uh, things I have not delved into yet. So I am interested in doing it. Just not there yet. Okay, and then this one is the Crochet Now magazine. And it comes with some free stuff. Get a couple of hooks. These are com commemorative hooks. A 4 millimeter and a 5 millimeter with um, Wallace and Gromit on them. And they are the boy type head, not the Susan Bates head. Okay. Learn crochet step by step and master the mosaic crochet. Ah. So you've got jumpers, you've got hats, pillows, and then in here we're going to get the Wallace and Gromit pattern. You know that Yarn Inspiration, well, what's the company on Yarn Inspirations? Um, oh my goodness, they bought Red Heart. And I notice in here that it says Dara Moores is now stocking Lion Brand. You guys in the UK are now going to start getting some Lion Brand over there. I hope you'll still watch our yarn hauls. <laughs> the 
this look to me looks like the virus shawl. I don't know if it is or not. That's just an advertisement for the Riot DK by King Cole. Okay, so you've got this Celtic Celt Celtic Fable Capital. And it's unisex. And I, I had to really look for it, guys. Based on these pictures, there it is right here. But when you look at this, I don't see cable. But it's there. And here's the Wallace and Gromit. They're really well done. You get the pattern for that. There's a blanket. I don't want to do too much of this because I bet you that Jan from um, the Jan Carruthers channel, the Urban Gypsy, she's probably going to get this and do a, a look through on it too. Style Craft Shortlist. Shortlist of designers with our style craft design competition. There's a dinosaur. Watermelon booties. So the one thing in here that I wanted to do, because I relate to him, I do. I really relate to this guy. It's a sloth. They call it a slow loris. It's a sloth. So that was that magazine. So that is the yarny stuff. Uh, yeah. That's it. I pulled out these, which are Karen Big Cakes in the color Tiramisu. I'm thinking these will be a giveaway. Watch for that. Not this time. Um, Maybe when I hit 100 subscribers. So, y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And when we get to 100, this is going to be part of the giveaway. So, I've got these set back here, ready to go. Thanks, y'all, for joining me for my yarn haul. Thanks for coming back to my channel. I will see you soon for another podcast, and if you are interested in the happy planning, check out the uh, video that's already up, and the new one will be coming soon. Thanks so much for being here. You can find me on all of the social medias as The Essential Blossom, and I appreciate it. See you later.